So, 27% of the entire world owns a Shopify dropshipping now in the 2023 era, but only 5% of those get their first sale. So the question that I asked myself at one point, and I know many watching this video are also asking themselves is, why can't your store also get any sales as well? Imagine your store kind of like a snowball, right? Unless you have the correct type of conditions and the correct type of snow, the density of the snow, you're not going to be able to create a solid snowball that's going to stick together. The same thing kind of applies for your own Shopify dropshipping stores. You need the correct information and the correct conditions and without any of that there will be no sales. In this video I'm going to be walking through why 99% of Shopify dropshipping stores fail and how I was able to get out at 99% and now make over $150,000 every single month Shopify dropshipping. My name is Ben, I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur and I have a portfolio of brands bringing me in over $150,000 of revenue every single month. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything I wish I knew when I was first starting to help me get to the point where I'm at right now. We're going to be deep diving into all the untold secrets inside of the e-commerce world that all these gurus will gladly keep away from you. And I'm going to expose every crucial piece of information that you are going to need in order to succeed with your upcoming dropshipping stores, starting with our first on the list, winning products. When I first heard the word winning products, I thought, you know, what is a winning product? What actually determines a winning product? Why does everyone keep on saying this word? And come to realize that the word winning product only really means one thing and it's something that will make you money. I think the whole idea of winning products has been very hidden inside of the space and no one really tells you, you know, the best way to find winning products. Sure, it's true. One product can change your life, but it's not the whole truth. It's like making a smoothie. Fewer ingredients tastes better. I get a lot of people coming to me and asking me, hey Ben, you know, why hasn't this product worked? Is this a winning product? And finding a winning product is way more simple than people think. I have people telling me they'll be doing product research for six, seven hours. They can't find anything where simply I can look for two to three minutes and find a product that I'm gladly willing to sell. Okay, I don't just wanna tell you all this stuff, but I actually want to show you. So let's hop into my screen here. And if we look at this, one of my main product research methods that I use is timu.com. It's literally just an AliExpress, but people like consumers will actually buy from it. And I love to do product research on here because it'll show everything you'll find on these typical spy apps like PP ads and AliExpress, but it's in a very condensed form. And I also do like how it is organized a lot better. So coming into the product research section, I like looking at the top of the header here and I'll come under categories and you know, there's not really one method here, but there's a lot of different things that you can search by niche. Some of my favorites are um, health and beauty and women's clothing. These two are the two niches that I've seen perform time and time after again. And I would just come in here. So for example, if you come to beauty and health, we can then scroll through these and I will look for products that solve an insecurity or problem. Those are the biggest products that will perform time and time. And you will see that those are what people really want. Secondly, on my product research criteria is find something that's new, right? I think we've all seen the crystal hair eraser. We don't want to be selling products that everyone already knows about and that we're already late to, but find something new to the market that you can bring and solve someone's issue with a new variation of a product or just a new product entirely. So if we come scrolling through here through timu.com, we can look through a plethora of all these products and find something that we think genuinely solves an issue. Um, for example, we can see that this product right here solves neck problems. This has been a winner in the past and as you can see, it's solves someone's issue of neck pain. We can see right here, this is an IPL hair remover. This has been a winner in the past, permanently removing someone's hair. Um, that solves, I would say, an insecurity. So a lot of these products do solve problems and you can just come through here. And this is what I love doing to literally just find products that solve issues or insecurities. That's all I do. Um, for example, if you are watching this video, I'll give you a free product that has already been validated and is a winning product selling right now in October. And is this turmeric soap bar. Um, you can literally sell this product when 
whenever you want. It's currently blowing up, it's doing very well, and I would definitely hop on this. This is the product research taken care of. One very important thing I do wanna go over before we do continue with this video is I do have my own Discord server called Value Club. Inside of Value Club, we have almost 2,000 members now, almost crossing 2,000 members today. And inside of here, we have an insane amount of value and we're helping people hit 1K days like it is absolutely nothing. You can see in here that we have an active 24 seven community and we have three weekly calls right now with two of the experts and one of them being with talking to me every single week. We have availability to us at all times of the day and there's also free value in here for anyone who does want to join. It is going to be down below. I now wanna get into the second lie that you've been told in the e-commerce space and that is building out your product pages using copy apps. I think we've all seen apps like this where you can easily copy people's product pages in seconds and steal everything they have on their product pages in minutes. And if I'm going to be honest, the real truth about this is number one, you will get DMCA'd from people who are very, very vigilant about this and even people like me. So that is why you should stay away from this. And number two, you cannot truly expect to get any sales off of a store when you are copying somebody else. This is not some get rich quick scheme which we'll get into later, but this is not going to be something where you can copy somebody else's product page and expect it to work. You have to create your own business from scratch and you have been luckily born in 2023 where the startup cost for Shopify dropshipping is extremely low. I now wanna show you what you should be doing instead. As always, that's what we're gonna be doing for this video. I have laid out a general template here of what your store should actually look like. I know right now it looks like a bunch of words and it looks really useless, but I'll explain. So when we look at our product page, we wanna set it up in a very very easy to look at fashion. I think too many people focus on trying to create the next apple.com and they don't realize a lot of these customers who are coming to your store to buy will not think twice. You'll see them add to cart within seconds and they will buy. So how do we optimize for conversions? It's very simple. On our actual product page, we one, wanna have our product and right below, we can have our price and discount. This is basically going to tell people, hey, our product is on discount so you can come ahead and buy it now before it's too late. Right under that, we're going to have our emoji benefits. We wanna reinforce our product with a little bit of color, and we also want to show people that why they should buy it. Under that, of course, we'll have our add to cart button. And this is everything called above the fold. Uh, what above the fold means is everything you see on your product page before you start scrolling. Now, let's say a customer is a little more intrigued of our product and they wanna learn more. Well, what we want to do below the fold is now add scarcity. We want to make it and tell people, hey, you have to buy now or you miss out. And this does a crazy good job of not only putting it as your first thing people see when they scroll, but also being able to force people and buying, right? there and right now. So right after scarcity, we now want to add our main benefit. Whenever you're selling a product, you've probably heard this before, but you don't want to sell people on features, but you want to sell people on benefits. How is your product going to make their life better? And why are they going to need it? That is what you want to state right under your scarcity. And you just want to repeat that right under for benefit too. Now, when we get into reinforcers, this applies to a broad spectrum of things that we have available inside of our Shopify dashboard. We have things like um, moving tickers or we have result bars. This can all be implemented through sh uh, Shrine Theme. If you haven't heard of Shrine Theme, it's the theme that I use for my Shopify store. If you are interested in getting a discount on it, you can join my Discord server where I do have a discount code in there. Anyway, for Reinforcer, I'll add something kind of like results where I'll show percentage results or I'll kind of add a horizontal moving ticker to enhance my store and add some vigilant stimulants. Anyway, moving on to our guarantee now. Guarantee is very important because it's going to give your store and it's going to portray to your customer Customer, why they should trust you. And a guarantee, we want to tell people, you know, they have a guarantee of 30 day money back or they have a satisfaction guarantee. We want to guarantee them something and we want to abide by that guarantee. That is what you're going to put there. Next, we move on to our FAQs. What you should do is go to amazon.com, search up your product and look at the questions that people who have bought your product will ask. That is what you want to put in your FAQs and that's going to make the questions more relatable to people who are also buying your product. Lastly, you want to have reviews on your store and that is what you're going to ask to reinforce your product page and make your store trustworthy. If this seems like a blank picture in your head, do not worry. I have a full zip file drag and drop store theme that I've built for my Discord. All you have to do is join Value Club club members and inside of there will be a full zip file implementing all of these steps inside of the zip file and it's a drag and drop in your Shopify. So if you're interested in getting it, join the Discord and inside of club members, you'll be able to access that in our beginner course. Third on our list here is creatives, also known as ads. 
ads. So when it comes to creating ads, you have probably been sold on the easy dream of being able to copy advertisements and run them as your own and be rich. And I think anyone who's thinking logically can realize that you should not be rewarded for copying someone else's hard work. We're going to be going over creatives that I think are structured very well and a creative structure that I think you can follow and implement now. So if we hop into my PC here, we can go into a past product that has done well, this non-slip convertible bandu bra. This bra was just targeted for plus size woman and a strapless push-up bra that is for plus size woman. If we go through here, um, this store has been up since June. So they've been up for a little little bit, but they've been able to test a lot of creatives and figure out what works. And we're going to go through um, a creative that I've seen the most. And we can see that, you know, we're seeing this creative a lot. So we'll check it out here. Okay, so that was a really good ad and I promise you that converts. You don't need to overthink your ads, but you need to put thinking about what to put inside of your ads. So what was good about this ad is they hook people in with large chests and anyone who has a large chest is instantly going to be gravitated towards this ad because now your target audience for this product now feels like there's something special in the ad for them. Now when we move to clip over two, it starts going over the benefits of the product and how well it fits, how good it looks, how comfortable it is, and you can constantly see See how that is reinforced with all of the clips in this video talking about how supportive it is these are all benefits of the product that people want to hear once again how comfortable it is and we can hear that right there about how big of a sale it's currently on that was just just like the scarcity thing that I was talking about people need a reason why to buy right now and adding that inside of your ad in your store and everywhere else is a great way to add scarcity and close that conversion as soon as possible and then we can see what we call the call to action as well which is right here so three Three main parts to a creative is the hook, which is the first line that customers are introduced to, the body, which is everything we see in the middle here. And then we have the call to action, which we have as the sale. And then this as the main call to action, which is go get them now, 50% off today. That is what makes a good creative. And all you have to do is just edit your ads in a way where you resonate with your target audience. I showed you a good example of an ad now. Now, let me show you how to find clips to edit your own ads, which is a common question I also get as well. So what you wanna do is, I'm not gonna do it right now, but come over to tiktok.com. And on tiktok.com, you're simply just going to search your product. Let's say in this case, we're searching um, strapless band, strapless band do bra. We wanna then search up for our product and look for the videos with the top amount of likes. What we then want to do is we want to assess if these videos with top amount of likes are good. A lot of times you'll see videos with tons of likes, but it does not mean they are good converting creatives. It just means they're entertaining. We want to find videos with the top amount of likes. And what we then want to do is we want to come to TikTok downloader downloader.com. And you want to then download the TikTok along with a couple other ones and edit your creative in the same style similar to this. Hit your hook to target your target audience, take your body and specify your benefits, and then hit them with your call to action and your offer. That is how you edit a creative. And this is the steps that I'll do. I'll just simply come to TikTok, find clips of my product existing, download it, hoppingcapcut.com. Um, I also just download the desktop version as well. So CapCut and edit your own ads right there. If you need any more help editing your ads, once again, I have a full live editing video of over three hours of footage, I believe, as going more in depth of what makes a winning creative inside of my Discord club members as well. Something else I do wanna go over is shipping times. As a beginner, and as I was a beginner at one point, I used to think shipping times were the last thing I would've worried about. I didn't think there were any negative repercussions to giving customers long shipping times, and I could honestly get away with it. And to some extent, you can, and you will, but sooner later, you will realize that long shipping times is not only going to hurt you and your business reputation, but also it's not going to come back on you very well because lots of customers will be emailing you and eventually you'll get a bunch of chargebacks. So I think we've all heard of AliExpress and all these Shopify apps nowadays, which can easily hit and plug into your Shopify store to fulfill orders through AliExpress. The only issue being is AliExpress shipping is beyond what you should be giving any customer for any store. One solution that I'm going to recommend to you guys is using a good supplying agent like HyperSKU. They're an agent that I personally use for all of my brands and I have fulfilled tens of thousands of dollars of product costs with them. They are super reliable and they will get your products delivered to your customers in 
around a week's time, which is beating these two, three months shipping times for AliExpress. You wanna be very mindful of things like these and the suppliers that you're choosing and who is actually taking care of your packages to make sure it gets to your customer. If this whole supply chain is not set up correctly, you will see the negative repercussions that come with it. If you want access to High Press KU and also a free coupon to also claim some free money as well, join my Discord and there'll be a link in there for you where you can sign up and get in contact with one of High Press KU's agents. This video was meant to have you see the real side of drop shipping away from all of the noise that is put into the space of all of these other videos telling you how easy it is and making it seem how easy it is to actually do Shopify drop shipping nowadays. If I'm gonna be honest, right now is the easiest time to start and it's never been easier but it will not be as easy as you think it will it's going to take hard work and dedication and only a select few will really be willing to do it which is why i bring up the importance of our last final thing is the importance of community i wish i knew something like this before i was so against joining discord servers or courses or communities because i thought they were just all scams right you always hear this thing like the communities are all scams and no one really does anything until i joined a couple discord servers myself and i really did some thinking and did some deep diving into what servers are really good for people People. And luckily for myself, I've joined the good servers and I've joined the really bad servers as well. And I've been able to take the good and the bad and implement it into my own server as my own. Community is one of the things that has helped me strive and exponentially grow beyond my own mental ability for how fast I've been able to progress in the dropshipping space. And if there's one thing that I would have gone back for is realize how important networking with high net worth individuals and a community really is. That is exactly why I've created my own personal discord server value club where i'm active in here every single day and we are just getting started we have a full entire beginner drop shipping course as well as a mastery hub for everyone beyond the beginner stage to master everything like scaling and everything beyond of growing your own brand to six figures we have everything in here from product research live editing and full snapchat tiktok shop and clavio email flows to help grow your business we also currently have three weekly calls right now two of them being with our experts inside of the discord server so that is all i wanted to say for my discord server and the last step of this whole entire space and this video is community if you want to join value club for yourself you can click the link in the description and join value club today it is 60 dollars a month 20 dollars a week and it will be the best investment you'll ever make in your life we have people in here hitting 1k days like it's absolutely nothing and making their money back in days people out here are buying lifetime memberships for the server just because of how valuable it is and we've got and told that there's been nothing like the value that they've gotten here from any of these other servers that they've joined. And that's really all I had planned for this video. I just wanted to bring you aware to all the noise that can really get in your head into the dropshipping space. It is my duty and is my promise to myself to be able to show the unfiltered side of dropshipping and what it really truly takes. And I'm on a journey to really just show people what it actually takes to succeed at dropshipping and help anyone who is willing to be helped. If you did enjoy this video, you can subscribe and like I am currently trying to grow my YouTube channel and seeing that subscribe and those numbers going up is going to give me so much more motivation to just continue to post these videos and show you guys the real side of dropshipping with that being said if you did like the video I will see you later